Hi Internet, my name is Omen, and I'm here to give you the best of the best for 2015 murals, in my opinion. Title. Let me just adjust this better. Top 7 murals of 2015 because I can do whatever I want. I have been painting murals for a long time, almost 20 years. I'm going to look at it from as if you've never seen this mural before, you know nothing about these people and this is what the first time you've ever seen these murals. I'm also going to say from my perspective, I see what they're, they're all about and I'll point out if there's anything wrong, why they're in the position that they're in, why they aren't number one, etc, etc. So bear with me, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Starting off with number seven is this massive fish thing by these two artists known as... Owner, O-N-U-R, and Wes 21. Maybe 20 Wes's before him and he had to claim that name. Who knows? But it's a, it's a wicked example of a graphic design used on a wall. Very well done, very well executed, great imagination. Uh, it's like a fish lure thing, eating a boat that's on a hook, which is meant to fish which is just crazy, it's just amazing, and it's well done, and it's very clean. Quality of production, the cleanliness of design, the implementation on the wall, the well use of space. Um, my, my con, I guess, would be, um, these guys would have made a fortune if they went back to the 50s and 60s and did soft cover science fiction novels, but they don't have a time machine. So, they're number seven on this list today. Number six is number six because it's not number seven is Smythe and Case McLean. The reason it's number six, it's a collaboration, so I give more strength to individual artists and the collaborations, although collaborations are awesome, and that's why they make the list anyways. Great use of the infinity symbol. <laughs> uh, also a great use of color is what I meant to say. It's a great, great composition. Very powerful. Other people have done infinity symbols and uh, nothing's new in far as design, like you'll see faces and you'll see lettering. But this is hands. Case McLean uses hands because he's awesome. The reason this is six is because the colors are so well defined in this. Very strong, very punchy. Probably it has something to do with both of their backgrounds. Boom! Moving on to number five is Montreal's own, where I'm from, 5-8. He did this amazing piece, freehand, on a wall, due to his amazing skills with the can, and it's all in aerosol, it's amazing. The color composition, the blending, the overlays, top notch, very underrated artist. Um, he should be expecting great things in 2016. What? This banger of a mural, this is done by three artists, uh, Tatanga, Kara Toez, Lauren YS. Y? S. Y. Yes. They put out this huge ass mural on the concept of paper, scissor, stone, or... I think it's amazing the color of the composition. It's a little, it's a little bit uh, very divided and it's uh, not much interplay. Mostly because uh, something of that size is really hard to run from one end to the other end to the other end and try to work off each other because of the massivity and they did it uh, from what I've seen in a really short time span, which is fucking amazing because like people should usually tear themselves apart. There is not much interplay between each of the aspects, but it's very powerful as a full piece. The only downside is it's a temporary piece made for an event. What could you do? We got to see it. It lives forever on the internet. Eternal. Top three. Three left. Three. Three. Number three is this amazing piece by Alex Diaz and Inti. Look at it, it's insane. This is a collaboration of two artists that intermingled and they came out, boom, with this amazing piece. The best placement, it's at a beautiful spot so you can view it from afar. It's two types of mediums. One is a brush, da, 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 and the other one is aerosol with a brush and swash of paint, and it has skulls. So anything that has skulls is definitely gonna go up in my list. And this wall is a fucking banger. I like the word banger. Coming up to two. Two is Evoca. Evoca did this piece, it's amazing. It's, uh, it has such feeling, such mastery. If I was just seeing it, I'd say like, wow, this is a banger, no matter what. There's a dog in it, there's like a fish, like 
fish is big this year in murals apparently. Now, time for number one. Number one, best mural of this year is by our old pal Blue, B-L-U, B-L-U, done in Mexico City. It's a very important aspect of murals which has been lost is this aspect. Here it comes. The fuck you aspect. They did it in Mexico City, one of the most notoriously corrupt cities in the world, most corrupt government in the world, and gave it a big fuck you. It pointed out the fact that it was drugs and money and greed. Instead of taking a little piece of culture and then painting it on a wall, he really went for the went for the jugular and told the government what's up. So check it out. Check out Blue. He's amazing. And that's it.